there, welcome to Escarage. I brought the Audi A2 in here and I'm uh, going to test water repellent on the windscreen. Uh, why have I gotten a bit interested into that one might uh, wonder. Well, this windshield wiper isn't like a windshield wiper on a normal car. It's, you know, this parallelogram thing with uh, two arms integrated into one and some pivot system here. And especially this part uh, wears so I don't know if you can see it but at one point in time it started to touch the windscreen the ribbit the end of the ribbit started to scratch the windscreen a bit here fortunately it starts here and doesn't start over there so it's kind of out of sight but um, then I understood that whoops <laughs> this is a bit of a fragile system so the first time I had that issue I opened well i took i opened this pivot system and took away some part of the rivets and managed to get them open and then i made some uh, washers flatter and made things a bit tight again and then then it worked for a while but then after a year or two later then uh, yeah same problem so i drilled away the rivets or ground them and took everything apart and then I noticed that I, if, I just, if I just take up the diameter of those pivot holes to um, 6 millimeters, I think it was, then I could get two uh, M6 screws there that aren't threaded all the way, of course. Um, and I have found two stainless screws, M6, and I managed to get everything back in, in, <laughs> in place again, and it was a lot tighter. Uh, I had to take... I had to lower the height of the, um, what do you say, the screw head, so it doesn't come too too close here. And I've also, I've also put two cable ties there to make things um, a bit safer. If I'm, maybe that's the right word, um, because this this thing kind of in, inclines and yeah, it's not the most robust thing on this car, but uh, well, it's still the original arm. I know people that have had to replace the whole arm, of course. And if one gets into that, that then uh, I think you need a tool to kind of pull this uh, arm off its uh, spindle. I think it sits quite tight there. Now, um, of course, it, it wears and wears and wears. So not to use this too much. And well, today when you talk about the energy efficiency, then of course it's a bit more energy efficient not to use this at all. So I will put on water repellents plural uh, on the windshield because I have two chemicals that I would like to uh, experiment with so the first thing I will put on is a liquid liquid hard wax it wax it says yeah I will put it on that half this one has to dry a bit uh, I use it for the paint sometimes and uh, you get a, a dried out uh, hard surface that you have to polish off um, then I have another one I have this thing, uh, it's made for windshields, it's a repellent, so it's nothing for the paint as such, but it's uh, a water repellent, so let's see if, if there's any difference in uh, repelling <laughs> properties of them. So, I'll start with the, so, I'll start with the wax on that side. Okay, I will let it dry and Put on the other repellent on the other side then. This one is a bit more, I don't know, wet, a bit like water. You can see kind of droplets still staying on the surface. It smells a bit worse. Uh -huh. And there isn't that kind of a film, there isn't that kind of film. Here, so, uh, okay, I will polish off that thing then. So, that one takes a bit longer to to dry out completely, so I'll have two separate pieces of cotton to, to polish with, but this one is kind of dry already. There's a little little haze over it, and I don't know if you can... You can't really remove that. It's going to stay, but as far as I've understood, it's going to, to disappear when you get water on it and it kind of it kind of i don't know what you should call it smears out or 
yeah, disappear when uh, when you get rain on it, or if you just want to wash it now, for instance, but I'm indoors, so. Yeah, this feels more like a, a, a wax that has really dried into the surface. Yeah, a bit of a, a little bit more effort, but this is the way it is to polish a car. Okay, so I don't think that I've contaminated the different surfaces. This one looks much cleaner now, but uh, again, um, that thing will disappear. I'm quite sure about that. Yeah, the other side looks much better right now, but let's see after uh, a little drive in the rain. So yeah, it's it's autumn now, so uh, any day I will take the car out and let's see how this works. If will I be able to see any any uh, difference or notice any difference, and will it this thing judder or? Do some other weird phenomena. Let's see. At last, a rainy day. Let's see um, how this uh, repellent and wax thing works in real life. If my <laughs> old A2 starts. No. Yes, still runs. 520,000 kilometers. Rainfall is a bit so-so, it's not so heavy. Uh, the droplets that are being formed on the windscreen right now are quite small. Let's see if we get some uh, better luck and get some more rain also. But this is a start at least. Let's see how this goes. Low speed. Uh, you see the uh, the windscreen is really covered, but there's a little crest now, and um, I think the droplets will start to fly off as I accelerate and get up in speed. Let's see. Yes, it started a little bit early on the repellent side, but the difference isn't huge. It started somewhere between 60 and 70 kilometers per hour. The droplets are now small and I start to obstruct the vision because I, I drive slowly again but I will just turn around and uh, bring it up in speed again side not much 50 now I would still need the wiper every now and then and then let's take the car up to speed 60 yeah 60 you see on the repellent side and 65 on the waxed side now I don't need a wiper now the vision is good really good so it works for sure. Works very well, I must say. I will give it a little bit more time and then I will give you some conclusion.
I should try to summarize. I would say that uh, the repellent works reasonably well. Uh, I have, uh, of course, have to use the wiper when I'm driving slow, and uh, but not that often. Uh, in the traffic environment that I usually drive around in, then, then it's not much of a... I, I don't drive much in, in slow conditions, let's say, like that. Then in city driving, and especially in city driving when, when it's dark, then uh, you have to use the wiper every now and then because the, you get street lights into the droplets and uh, yeah, it's a bit so-so. But for kind of, uh, yeah, any driving above 60, 70 kilometers per hour, it works really well. So would I recommend it? Sure. Uh, especially for, for an old A2 where you have this weird uh, parallelogram uh, wiper arm that wears and wears and wears. So yes, for sure. Go for it. That's all from Hoist Chaos today. Take care. Bye-bye.